This match should be easy, but what Bo doesn't know is that Mohammedian is on a heavy dose of steroids. And they didn't really warn me who this dude was. He's like two inches taller than me, freaking jacked as hell, and uh, does a forward roll and like squat jump, and his feet are like over my head, and I'm like, what the hell is going on here? And he, he killed me. It's the only time I've ever wrestled a match where I, I really got whipped. Like he single leg took me down, gut wrenched me. Then I got off the mat and I was like, what the f just happened? And then he actually, the next round, he beat my teammate, Kyle Snyder, who was Olympic gold medalist, the exact same way, like like smoked us both. And I was like, what the hell is going on here? The last five years, he got banned, he, he got popped. And so he hadn't competed in five years. He'd just been freaking training in juice. So then world championship that year comes along and now they're getting tested and he like went 0 and 1. While Mohammedian's career was now in trouble, the Olympic Games loomed on the horizon for Bo. A big goal of mine was to win Olympic gold medal. That was always something that I wanted to do. You know, getting ready for the trials, I felt like I wasn't really at my best physically. Despite that, Bo scored three dominating victories in a row. Feeling good, that's what I live for. I love those exciting matches against tough game opponents. Zahid always brings it, he attacks. So I was just excited to get out there and compete against a great competitor. I make the finals and I'm wrestling one of my teammates, David Taylor, who's a great wrestler, you know, world champion at this point. And, and here we go. The Magic Man pulling some early to increase this lead. Nice little single leg shot there coming up, popping up to this. Call that the submarine. Coming straight through, he needs to finish this. This is where Taylor's good and scrambles well. He lost two matches on points missing out on the coveted ticket to Tokyo, and more importantly, missing out on the chance to make one of his lifelong dreams come true. It's pretty pretty rough, pretty upsetting. Now, you know, knowing that I'm not gonna be able to compete in the Olympics. Taylor would later bring home the Olympic gold medal, while Bo would never step on the mat again. My plan was win the Olympics and, and then obviously be done. I don't have to prove anymore in wrestling. I can just move on. And so there was a lot of questioning and soul searching in my mind of what do I want to do? I, I've always really loved MMA since I can remember watching. I remember watching guys like Matt Hughes and GSP and BJ Penn, guys like that fighting when I was really young. And I was like, man, like that's like, I, I don't know. I just kind of like gravitated towards it right away. I started training in August of 2021 MMA. That's hilarious. Yeah, <laughs> I know. <laughs> Took my first amateur fight like five weeks later. I had this big goal, but I'm not going to let this big goal get in the way of what I'm really truly, where my heart's calling me, what I'm really passionate about, and what I really want to do. I felt like I would be doing like a disservice to myself if I had continued to wrestle, which I kind of see American Top Team as like the Penn State of MMA. I felt like two things. I felt like one, they were very structured relative to what most MMA kind of training situations, what I've seen. Who was your first amateur fight against? Some random dummy was like, I want Bo Nickel, blah, 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 this and that. I want Bo Nickel, and I was like, okay, let's do it. Like, I expect to win every single time I compete, no matter what, no matter who it's against. That's how I've been since I was a kid, and I'm not only gonna be competitive in that instance, but I'm gonna plan and prepare before, and I'm gonna put the time in, and I'm thinking ahead. And that, that's just kind of what I think a lot of people are missing, you know? In his amateur mixed martial arts debut, Nickel easily defeated David Conley winning by an arm triangle chokehold submission in round one. My goals are to be UFC champion, to be the number one pound for pound fighter in the world. And Bo's next fight was over almost as soon as it started. There had been people, you know, paying a little bit of attention to me and stuff in MMA, but not a lot. And then the, the next thing was contender series, right? And just like that, Bo was thrust into the spotlight. They just said, let's let's get you on contenders. Bo faced off against the foreign O, Zachary Borrego. Seconds into the fight, Nichols secured a takedown, and half a minute later, he finished the job with a rear naked choke. And then Dana's like, let's get you one more. He's amazing. He's obviously one of the hottest prospects. Nickel was given another fight, this time against Donovan Beard. 52 seconds into the fight, Bo would prove himself once again. Then you get your first fight in the actual UFC. Crazy. I'm like 3-0, and and I'm like... Main card too, right? main card, opening the main card, John Jones pay-per-view. This is wild. It, it's part of his psyche, his subconscious. Yeah. Like, but how fast he's getting on the ground, it's scary. I'm seeing it. He's a guy that can go very far. And very overnight. far. I want to be the one that decides whether or not I'm successful or not. I'm not going to leave it up to Dana White. I'm not going to leave it up to UFC. I'm not going to leave it up to my coaches. I'm not going to leave it up to anybody like but me.